Hey guys, it's Scent Work Sunday. I know it's been a while since my last video, but we have literally been covered up hosting workshops and doing detection seminars and things like that. With that being said, back on the theme, you'll notice that scent work is something that we talk about a lot on this channel. It's something I'm passionate about. Uh, today, I'm super stoked to be able to not only do a product review for you guys, but to be able to get the exclusive on this product as it is coming out. So if you're new to AKC scent work or some of the other sports, I think you'll like this product because it has everything you need in one-stop shopping. Stay tuned. Hi Jeremy, thanks for coming back and I'm so excited to share with you my newest training kit and this is nose work in a box, everything you need to train from novice through advanced scent work with your dogs. And I'm really, really proud of it. It has, just like the title says, everything you need. When you first open it up, these two grids will be used for your buried hides. And each box will come with a list of what is included in the box. And it kind of helps you keep it straight. If you're training on your own, it's really important that you keep the cold contents in the cold box. And each of the hot jars will be kept separate because you don't want the odors mixed together. Also included is a quick training notes to get the most out of your kit, new kit. And it just reminds you to keep this odor separate to make sure that you don't contaminate the environment. And the three different steps on teaching odor detection. Your first step is going to be imprinting. Second step is going to be obedience to odor. And the third step is an alert, just communicating between you and the dog that you have successfully found the target. Now, once you get into the box, what you're going to find are these three flat boxes and seven already folded and I'm trying to keep the shipping down so I've kept those flat and future shipments if I can get a better package may have all of them down and I'll include a sheet on how to fold them it includes seven folded boxes and these are for use with your container searches when you compete there will be ten identical boxes slightly larger than these training boxes and inside one of them will be a cotton swab with the target odor on it. So I've included 10 identical boxes that you can use for training. When you put scent into cardboard, you need to make a mark on it somewhere so you know this is the hot one because it will always be hot. In addition to the seven boxes, we have the cold box. These are items that you need for training that you don't ever want to get mixed in with your hot items or they'll always be hot. First, you have a jar, airtight jar, with 100 pre-cut cotton swabs. So whenever you're going to train, you would get the cotton swabs out and put it in one of your scent vessels and then put the odor on it. You have post attack or putty and this is pre-scored and you can just rip off a small section and then you can use that to stick your scent vessels against walls or under chairs or hide them off the ground. It includes four clean or unscented scent vessels and each of these has a rare earth magnet inside so that it will stick to metal. Each code box includes 40 pre-cut black cotton swabs and these are used when you are training water hides. You will put a cotton swab in the end of the aquarium assembly and after it's scented you put that down into the water and now the dog nor the handler can see which one is scented. Okay, you also have 10 alcohol wipes for accidental spills and to help keep from contaminating the working area. Put all that aside. 
So that's your cold box. These are things you don't ever want to get hot. In each kit, you have two jars. Birch is the novice scent that you start with. And everything in here will smell like birch. Once it's been scented, it will smell like birch. It's an airtight container, glass jar, metal lid. It includes a used vessel so that after a day or two of training and you want to use fresh swabs, you can put those in here. It's another airtight container because if you throw these in the trash can, your dog should be alerting on the trash can and that's going to confuse it when it's not getting reinforced. So until you can take it outside to the garbage, outside of your house or training area, put them in the inside airtight glass jar. You have a dropper bottle full of birch oil. And this is what you're going to use to scent the cotton swabs. Tweezers to handle the swabs so that you're not contaminating the environment or the training area. An aquarium set up for birch, a scent vessel labeled for birch, and a tea ball. This is used in the novice or the sand hides in the buried element. So, you have exactly the same setup with Anna's. And everything's bubble wrapped so when it ships it doesn't get broken. When you're ready to train, you would simply take your clean swabs. You're going to start with birch. And you can start with three, four cotton swabs. And that's why you don't want to handle the dirty ones except with Q-tips. Put the clean ones away. And now you can scent them with a drop of the birch oil directly on the cotton swab. And then you're ready. These contain these scent vessels can be hidden in cardboard boxes. They can be used for your interior or exterior hides. The tea ball is for the sand buried hide. The aquarium setup is for the water hide. And another thing that makes my kit unique is the fact that I have provided two latching boxes to use for buried hides. Each of these boxes are the size required by AKC. And once you put your sand, you're going to train novice, you'll put a cotton swab with birch in this box. You'll fill both boxes with sand. And then the grid fits tightly over the box and the handles latch up there so the dogs can't dig in the sand or disturb the surface. On the side, there's a black mark that's four inches and that's how deep you're supposed to have the sand or water whenever you're training. And then the last thing I'll show you is the actual water hide. If you are gonna train on water, you would use, instead of the T-ball, you would use the water, the, instead of the T-ball, you would use the water. Stick it to the bottom, and again, now you're going to fill it with water. And there's a cold one, so if I'm going to train water hides, I will put the target odor in the vessel, and I will put the blank one in the other one. So now whenever the dog is searching, they visually are identical, and they're going to have to work off of the smell. So I'm really excited about this. And I can't wait to start getting it out there so that people can see what a great product this is. And where do we find this product at? That would have been helpful. <clears throat> Systematictrainingfordogs.com So there you have it. It's a nice introductory product because so many times people get into scent work and they start asking, Hey, where do I get my odors? Where do I get my tins? Where do I get all this stuff? And if you shop around, folks, you're going to see large organizations that sell dog training stuff sell just the odors for $63, $73. You're going to see people paying $5 a piece for the tins. Why not get everything in one place? One-stop shopping, get you everything you need to train up to the advanced level, and it gives you more time to spend with your dog and more time to have fun.